reports that the Oakland Raiders were really, really considered trading holdout Khalil Mack. And Khalil Mack is seen as the best one or at least one of the best pass rushers and best defenders in pro football. We back. Motor City Sports Talk. We're in the building. Y'all know what the business is, man. It's your boy, CJ Goodfella. I'm back with another hypothetical. Should the Detroit Lions put an a offer out for Khalil Mack? And my answer is absolutely yes. You know, absolutely yes. I, I'm going to tell you this, man. I'm going to go all the way in, man, without giving a first-round draft pick. I'm going to tell you what I would do. A lot of y'all guys might not like it, but it is. Well, anytime you got the uh, opportunity to get a pass rusher of this, of this magnitude, I'm trading Zig Yen, Golden Tate, and I'm offering draft picks. Second to third, I'm going all out to get this guy. Because you don't get guys that come into this organization like Khalil Mack that often. People say, well, we need Golden Tate. Look, Zig Yen, Golden Tate, two dudes you're going to have to pay regardless, man. Nah. You trading a, okay, a good pass rusher in Ziggy, I like, for the bet, one of the best pass rushers. Only thing that's stopping me from saying he's the best is Von Miller. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't like Oakland wouldn't trade with you. You don't play Oakland this year. You're not in the AFC. You're not in the AFC West. Why not? Why wouldn't you do that trade? Oakland need receivers. They got Jordy Nelson. They got Martavius Bryant. They got Amari Cooper. We know Amari Cooper not that good. Who knows what Jordy Nelson got left? Martavius Bryant's a wild card. Why wouldn't they want Golden Tate? Then you get a pass rusher and Ziggy Ounce for your pass rusher needs. They not owe no too much more guaranteed money. They both got one year deals, and then you bless them with some draft picks. But they want something else. Only guys that's not untouchable for us, uh, untouchable for me, and they got quarterback. Not Kerryon Johnson, not Kenny Galladay, not Marvin Jones. Certain guys I'm not trading. Not none of my linemen. You know, and Gerard Davis, I'm not trading him. They need a corner. You know, since T's Tabor ain't winning the job, he can go. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, man. I mean, this dude is big time, man. Big time. You know, get after the pass rush, and he can cover a bit too. And then Lions going to that hybrid 3 4 4 3 defense. He can cover a linebacker. He can rush the pass rusher. You know what I'm saying? It's a no brainer for me, man. You got an opportunity to get a guy this good. I'm selling, man. I'm breaking the bank for him, man. As long as I got an agreement. I got an agreement that I can get him into a contract extension when he get here. I'm cool with it. I'm spending that cash. You know what I'm saying? And if I can keep Ziggy and put him with Ziggy, I, I'm with it. If I keep Golden Tate, okay. But if I can get, if I if I can part with them to get him and with some draft picks, I'm I'm doing it. I don't care what y'all say. Y'all can be mad at me. Lions fans get so attached to these players, and I, I never understood it. You know what I'm saying? You know. You're not winning with them. So what you gonna do? You're gonna be you gonna just continue to, to run that's insanity. Rationalize the same thing, going with the same thing, getting the same results every year, no playoff win. And I told people Calvin Johnson, I was like, you know what, man, I think the Lions should trade Calvin Johnson, man. This was this was when he was first getting broke up with Harrison Harrison Smith or the or the Vikings, excuse me. Gave him a real, real nasty hit, and he had a pinched nerve. He couldn't catch nothing. He was out there playing broken up. I said, yeah, I think it's time to trade Calvin. People say, oh, you can't trade Calvin. I said, the diamond can soon. I sign him back with the Lions. I can tell you that right now. His sister said this. Woo, woo, this one I'm hearing. You know, oh, you can't trade Sue. Why not? Why not? You got to do something different. The Lions been doing the same thing for years. You got to take a chance. You got to take a chance. You get a guy like this in your prime, and they think about trading him because he ain't signing. Sign me up, man. Who y'all want? Give me this guy over here. They going to Oakland pretty soon to play the Raiders Friday. If I'm Bob Quinn, I'm chopping it up about how can I get Khalil Mack so we can win. If I'm Bob Quinn, I'm talking to the Raiders to get Khalil Mack so we can win. Imagine Khalil Mack in the NFC North, man. On Aaron Rodgers. On his butt. On his butt. That's like Sue beating up Jay Cutler and Aaron Rodgers stepping on somebody's arm. Your pass rush is reborn. If Devin Kennard can give you something, Kerry Hyder can give you something, we good. Oh, what about go to take the slot? We'll figure it out. Put TJ Zones there. We'll figure it out. If not, theoretically, get there. We'll figure it out. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to extreme for the best pass rusher in the game, but one of the best. Only reason I'm not saying he's the best is because of Von Miller. Period. We need all that smoke, man. But let me know what y'all think. I know y'all, a lot of y'all going to cry. Oh, Golden Tate, what we going to do without Golden? What we going to do without Ziggy? The same thing we've been doing with them. Without them, you got to change it up, man. You got to take chances. And the Lions need to take this massive chance right here with Khalil Mack. If Bob Quinn want to win, call Khalil Mack, man. Call him. Call the Oakland Raiders. Let's get a deal done. But I know it ain't going to happen. Lions don't take chances like that. Motor City Sports Talk, man. Social media information in the description. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I appreciate you guys rocking out with me. Agreeing or not disagreeing or disagreeing. Appreciate it. Share, subscribe, hit the bell icon. We gone.